today project I'm going to upgrade this thermostat from this old one to this new one um, it's a project that I started a long time ago a couple of weeks ago and I'm just I have enough time today to finish it for this old one the, you just pull it out and it, it will come out so it has a, this one is a battery power one so even after I remove it from the wall it's still on now um, this this one has only four wire so it doesn't need a it doesn't need a common wire but for the google nest i ha i have to that one need a common wire so i went ahead and i i run another uh cable with five wire i show you in a minute I remove two screws and then this just come out like this. So as you can see, I made a big hole at the back. Just the, the, the original cable, I don't know which electrician installed it. Um, you cannot pull it from here and then you cannot pull it from downstairs so i have to make a big hole and uh, pull a new cable with uh, five wire i'm gonna leave the old cable here so i have uh, nine wire now i'm going from the thermostat to the um to the furnace downstairs and I think it will help for future upgrade. So this is the cable that I got from the from my local Home Depot. It's a thermostat wire. It's 18 gauge and five wire inside. So this is the connection for the old thermostat. I think the G is for the, the fan. The red wire, which is connected to RC and R, RH, I think that's the 24 volt coming out from the furnace. Uh, w should be the heat, and the Y should be the air conditioner. So I'm just gonna take a picture before I remove it. And before I remove it, I'm going to go downstairs and turn off the power to the furnace. So I went ahead and removed the old thermostat. This is the new 18 gauge 5 wire that I, I run recently. And this is the 4 wire that was there before. I'm just going to hide it at the back maybe this this will help somebody next time when they want to upgrade I went ahead and uh, stripped the, the wire in the next thermostat you have this base plate I'm just going to install on the wall and then connect those wires to it Before I do that, in the next nest thermostat box, there's this plate. It's going to help me to cover this mess for now. I have the plate secure on the wall. Because of the big hole at the back, it's only one screw right now. But that should be fine. And then I can go ahead and install this. The base is non secure and and level. So I'm gonna go ahead, push the wire back in and then connect 
connected to each of these I went ahead and I, I put the red to RH. Uh, the blue is going to be the fed. Um, I'm going to use the orange as a common. Uh, the white, I put it on W1, which is the heat. And the black wire, I'm going to use for the air conditioner. I put it on the Y1. And the front of the nest thermostat just just gonna stick it on it. But before I do that, I'm gonna go downstairs and connect the wire inside the furnace. So this is my furnace. It's a Lenox Brown. Gonna go ahead and open the panel. This is inside the furnace. This is the new cable, the 18 gauge fire wire. And this is the old one. So I'm gonna connect the, the this is the new the old one. This one with four wire. So I'm gonna connect it exactly the same. The only wire that I will add will be the orange that uh, I'm gonna use as a comb. See if we can see. So it's marked here, WU. The next is C. So I'm going to be adding my orange wire on the C. The red is R. This is what uh, blue is green. And this black one is yellow. So I'm going to connect exactly like this, but I'm going to put the orange wire to the common. This wire, this one goes outside to the other unit, and this one goes to my thermostat. This is the old wire. I follow the same wiring color, and I'm just gonna add um, the orange to the common here. So I went ahead and I just cut the old wire. Just roll it and leave it at the side. At the side. I'm gonna mark it uh, spare. And this is the new one with five, five wire. So the white is gonna go to white. The red is gonna go to red. The black is gonna go to this white and I choose the orange to go to C, the common. And uh, this one is blue. I'm gonna put it on the green, that's the fan. So I went ahead and I connected everything. So the, I put the white to the W, uh, the orange to the C, the white here that's belong to the wire going to the air conditioner outside. Looks like they need a comment over there to put the red to R, the blue put it to G, and the black which is the air conditioner put it on Y. So I'm just gonna double check everything. Always double check your work. And I will close the panel and power it on and go from there. Yeah, just to double check one more time. Uh, the blue, put it on uh, G, which is the fan. The black, I put it on Y1, which, which is the air conditioner. 
uh, the wine, put it on W1, which is the heat, and the orange, put it on C, which is the calming, and the red, put it on R, which is the power 24 volt. Then it's time to switch the power on and see what happens. First I put the I put the front of the next thermostat on. Now let's put the power on and see. Yeah, power is back on. And I see the Google logo. Which means everything was connected properly, I guess. Booting up. And I see a little green light blinking on top. Some, some wrench came up. I'll bring you guys back up when the next screen comes up. So this is the next screen. Um, the wiring to your equipment has changed. So let's go continue. Equipment detected. So Y1 cool, W1 heat, C24 volt common, G fan, and Power. Hope you went to sleep. Continue. Your system heating, cooling, fan. Continue. Equipment setting. Done. Let's go to heat type. Yeah, that's gas. Mm. What type of heating do you have? Force A, yep. Cool setup. We don't know what that means. Okay, done. So right now um, it's showing 18, 18 I, oops, Wi-Fi setting. So yeah, I'm going to set up the Wi-Fi later. So right now I'm just going to try to increase the temperature and see if uh, the heat would turn on. I guess 18 is uh, 18 degrees. So I'm just gonna increase it to, to adjust the temperature. Okay, change the thermostat to heat first. Yep. So I don't know if you can hear it. The furnace just, just kick on now. So yeah, I think it's working. So I'm gonna uh, do the Wi-Fi setup and 
and the app might maybe in a separate video um, so that's how you connect the next next thermostat um, this old one I use it for years it's programmable but the only thing you cannot uh, access it uh, from Wi-Fi so the next thermostat my goal is to be able to uh, to access it remotely and just maybe turn off the heat when we are not at home and turn it on back before we get home and also when I'm away I can just set the temperature away yeah I don't know if you can hear it but the furnace is on right now so I don't know if I can test the, the air conditioner I don't think so because it's really cold right now maybe but it would work it would work because I connected the wire exactly like So yeah, it's working. So I will set up the Wi-Fi and the app in a separate video.